Yo, Joe! Hello, everybody, and welcome to another figure review. I have some time, and you know, it's perfect timing because we, or I should say, I received the new Tripwire G.I. Joe Classified Tripwire and or Tripwire as Apsara, which is the little rat's name and Mayfloat. Um, very exciting figure to have, especially because we do get a lot of goodies um, and a lot of interchangeable parts in terms of gear, which is going to be fun. Um, but yeah, we have a portrait there of Tripwire, and then we do have, you know, the digital, sort of digital render, um, promo pick there with the drone there. Uh, I don't know what this would be, some sort of mine, I guess. And yeah, there he is with the little pet rat. And yeah, so standard windowless packaging here we have a portrait on this side number 78 in the line we move over we have um you know digital render back here um zoom in shots of the arm there and then the helmet his skills or abilities there the qr code which again the the gi joe website is still not functioning and yeah, the skills and the portrait in blue, classified at the top. With that being said, let's open this guy up. And here we go. And yeah, so there's <laughs> the accessory box with the very long name, 78, the G.I. Joe star there at the top. Open this up and okay. We get just one bag to have all the accessories and they're all go. This one has the scanner here in this cardboard piece. So open that up and there you go. Of course, we'll take a close look at everything in a second. And then there we have a figure with um, the black and white portrait in the back there. Very cool. We are using these um, plastic holders there. So I'll cut that off screen and then we'll move into accessories. All right, so in terms of accessories, this is the big pile. So we'll slowly, you know, put everything apart. We get two mines, we get, you know, this armor gear, the helmets, this sort of bomber jacket here. And then some more armor pieces, um, a back piece, the remote for the drone, a pistol, and of course the pet rat, who I already forgot their name, um, Apsara. Um, we'll take a close look at the pet first. Um, it's a very, I guess, unique accessory to throw in. Um, I don't know what use he would have for a rat. Um, I believe there's a lot of people saying that, you know, rats are used for some sort of mind detecting or of that nature. So I'm not sure, but there we have it. We have a tiny little rat, which hopefully does not get lost, um, you know, when I'm displaying or changing the display. Um, but yeah, there it is, has some white, a red harness, a little bit of lighter um, color there for the ears, some nice black for the eyes. And then the tail isn't pink, but still brown. And yeah, so there's the rat in articulation. It isn't just that one pose, sort of a taking a step pose. We get two mines very different to the ones that came with, I believe, Firefly. I do believe they are different. They are, pegs are different, they're much bigger. Um, and this time they have that sort of um, silver at the top rather than the red. 
so very cool. Um, some people are complaining about this, saying that why does he have mines if he's the one looking for them? The vintage one came with its own mines as well, and some people pointed out that he just doesn't look for mines, but um, I should say the his file card says that he's an explosive expert, so you know, he may be looking for mines, but he may also be placing them, you know, to leave a little surprise for Cobra. Um, we have the 1911 here. Um, very bland gray plastic use here. You can port blast effects on it. Um, but yeah, nothing too crazy with this one. Would have been nice to have had a different color for the handle there. Um, but yeah, there is some nice texturing. I believe this is a new mold. I don't think we've seen this one yet. We've seen 1911s, but with a sort of extended mag kind of setup. Um, we have the, the controller here. Again, some minor details would have helped this. Some additional colors there, you know. Um, but yeah, it is in this bland gray plastic as well. Two antennas, two thumbsticks. Looks pretty neat. I mean, kind of simple. Um, you have this other... This, I believe, is some sort of neck piece. So this should go along with this other neck piece. I don't know. We'll get into the whole um, bomber jacket uh, situation in a bit. And then we do have the scanner here. Uh, the handle there, which of course has some sort of um, stick on it. And yeah, very cool. I don't think this articulates in any way. No, it does not. Yeah, it doesn't. So scanner, one big mold, this doesn't have any hinges. But there's some nice green to it and then you do have the hose here which of course is gonna go here and we've seen this hose before with barbecue and other characters we have the drone here um the treads obviously do not move we have some red paint there this swivels and then this hinges here here and i believe one more over here at the top Claws not functional, um, but yeah, some nice detail with the treads there, this sort of little handle there, um, but yeah, it can collapse all the way down, and then if he is using it, it can open up, so yeah, pretty cool little thing, um, nothing too crazy. We have the two sort of helmets here, um, this is more of his vintage uh, counterpart look, um, so yeah, a lot of people are... are are, you know, making it look like the version 1 vintage um, tripwire and this helmet goes along with that look. But if you want a more modern, more realistic look, we have the bomber helmet here, which I think I will personally use, um, give them that new modern aesthetic. And then of course here we have I believe this is the more modern bomber jacket. I'm not too sure, but there we have it. Um, we're finally seeing, you know, um, removable jackets or, you know, overlays, which, you know, Hasbro should do more of. I personally would like to see a little bit more of that with other figures. And then, of course, like I said, this is part of the neck piece um, for the bomber helmets. And then we have the back piece here with some nice blue. You can port um, the mines in there. Just to show you some nice detail there inside, but you can port a mine in there. And I don't know if that's <laughs> removable. Um, I'm not sure, but you do have a little, um, I guess, store storing option there for the scanner, I assume. And then we have just some general details, some nice green up here, number pads and stuff, keys. So yeah, very cool. Oh geez, mine is badly warped and as you can see there's a stress mark there if I try to bring it down. Well, that's a shame already. Um, but moving on to the figure, 
Um, articulation wise, I assume oh, the neck is not. Let's see what's going on underneath there. Okay. So it is a bit of a shorter neck pig, so you won't get a lot. At least mine isn't stuck there with, you know, glue. It does move around. But yeah, it's very big ball joint and very small, short um, neck pig. So you're not going to get a lot of range going up. Some down and then pivoting. You'll get some pivoting there. You obviously have the other joint down here with the neck but even that doesn't really offer a lot of movement arms go out about that much so it's pretty good range you get the upper thigh cut in there you get some butterfly joints in there double jointed arms you get a vertical hinge here and another vertical hinge on the other side so that's nice oh <laughs> and there's that which I don't know if it's purposeful to remove this sort of armor on there. I assume not, but that just happened and I have a very tight, I mean, if it's removable, might as well do that and try to move the arm here. It's extremely tight. That is, I can't seem to get it to move, but there's that. There's no um, um, cut here for the forearm movement. Um, yeah, that is a bit of a shame if that's not meant to happen. I mean, even this side is a bit. I mean, I assume it's not because this one has a stressed peg in there already, so. Bit of a shame. I mean, I thought we were over this Hasbro with the very, um, you know, soft plastic pegs there, but I guess we're not over that yet. Um, you do have a waist swivel in there, obviously. You do have a nap crunch, which it can get a little bit, but it's not really noticeable with the jacket on there. You can kick forward. It's, let me moving him up first before moving him around uh, he can kick out pretty well he can, does have the upper thigh cut there and then we have double jointed knees which you know go back pretty good you have the boot swivel there goes back and forward and then you have the ankle pivot um yeah this is a bit bothersome I am not sure if that's intentional or not, um, but yeah, uh, that is a bit frustrating already. So let's see, this went like this, and then this arm is just extremely tight in there. It just doesn't want to articulate, so I don't know, I may need to heat that up, but yeah, it just popped off. And I don't like that. Yeah, so let's see. Yeah, it's just gonna pop off eventually. So that is a bit of a shame. And then there we go. Got the arm to move. Finally. Yeah. I'm not too happy with this. Um, <laughs> it's a bit bothersome. Um, but I guess we got the arm to move or hinge at least. We'll put this here, this in here. But yeah, when it comes to his vintage look, um, I believe he didn't have these armor pieces here. And I'm not sure which one would match that vintage look. I assume it's this one here. I'll put up reference um, photos. Um, but yeah, look, you have removable vest here and on this other side. So you can interchange that with the other one. 
and then it's just the same process. You have two holes, and then two pegs over here. You can port them in, but I think I'll stay with this one because it has all the pouches. There's a bit more detail with it. Um, but yeah, even the the pegs here are going to be the best at holding this vest together. So let's see if I can do it here on camera. And they go in, they seem to stay on there. So yeah, there's that look. You can remove this and this to have it a bit more vintage look. Obviously, removing these also will give it that more vintage look because I believe the vintage one only had like the vest and then obviously the helmet here, which I'm not sure if it just goes over his head. I don't want to, that seems a bit risky. I'm not sure. I mean, you can put this one on, that's pretty easy to do. And obviously, I really like this look. Um, but you can put... What would it be? This huge chunk of plastic over it. Really give it that super bomber feel. I like that. I'm digging that. Um, I'm not sure if that's the correct way, though. I assume it is. I'm just yeah, it just lays naturally like that to the back and like that. Um, based on the promo pics, I do assume we can also do this. A much smaller sort of armor neck piece. So you can do that, but then let's see if we can do the helmet. Okay, yeah, you just really gotta go for it and put it in there. And there you go. You have his vintage style look, which I also like, you know, I like how it exposes his face and whatnot. And then this does go over the chin pretty nicely. So that's very cool. Um, but I think I will go with the full helmet look for this guy. Um, just basing it off the images here. Yeah, I, this is on backwards, I believe. And there's an ugly hair in the way. Let's see if I can get this right. So based on the pictures, this is on this way. I guess it makes more sense because it lays flat on his back like that. And then you place um, the helmet over his head. So that's different options you guys have for, you know, displaying this guy. You can obviously interchange the, the vest to whichever one you prefer. Um, I will keep this one. Like I said, it has all the patches and stuff. Makes them feel a bit bulkier. And then this one. I presume plays that way. We'll put this on. I just really like the bulkiness of it. <laughs> it just looks so cool. Um, in terms of storage, um, let's see. We have this, which connects here. And then you can obviously store it there. So that's pretty nifty there. Some nice storage. Um, his pistol does have the holster, so you can holster it there. And then his other mine, I don't seem to know where it can port. Because you can only put one of them there and I just dropped it, so I'll look for it later. Um, but yeah, the rest would just be pieces that he can hold and be displayed with. You know, his pet rat can be next to him. The uh, drone here, you can probably get him to carry it, but I'll probably just have it there on the ground. And then obviously mine has a pretty messed up peg, so 
I'm not gonna store it yet. I'm gonna try and warp it back. If I can't, I would just cut it and re-glue it on there. Um, but yeah, it is a shame that this is bent up and this arm is very... Uh, I wouldn't say loose, or I guess you could call it loose, but... You know, that peg is just very soft, so it's very easy to pop off the arm. Again, I don't know if it's intentional because you wouldn't be able to slide these down for those who want a completely vintage look. At least it doesn't seem like it's possible. I mean, you can. It would just take a bit of effort. So I don't know if it's intentional or not, but it's still kind of bothersome to me. Um, but yeah, I think that would do it for this review. It is pretty lengthy, but you know, there's a lot to go through with this guy. And, you know, in terms of aesthetic, it looks great. I like this look more than his vintage one. Um, the accessories are great. I know some people are going to upgrade it with the Gridiron Studios kind of equipment. Um, but yeah, overall, I'd give him like a 7 out of 10. Uh, just because of that arm and, you know, some few things with my own accessories such as peg being bent um but yeah i think that would do it for my review i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in a future video